This is a movie and a documentary about my life for the last 13 years. Me and my producer had a falling out, so I got to bootleg my own shit. That toilet in Towson was evidence, and this is what it was all about. It's about the war on drugs. It's about ceasefire. It's about the murder and the death of our kids. It's about the killings in Zion, the killings in Chicago, the killings in Baltimore. Let us design. It's a movie about my life. It's a movie about mass incarceration in the prison industry. All right. It's a movie. And President Obama asked for a federal investigation because y'all charged me with terrorism for making this movie. Y'all charged me with terrorism for making this movie in 2008. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. So I sent everything to Donald Trump. Everything that Elijah Cummings don't want to deal with, everything that Michael Steele don't want to address, everything that Dutch don't want to deal with, never bite the hand that feeds you. As for a federal and a state audit, because this movie was financed from my store. My store was financed in this movie. Shorty's Underground Railroad was financed in this movie. Shorty's Country Ridge Store was financed in this movie. Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr., Deron Battle committed fraud and identity theft. And I went a federal and a state audit. I was insured. I was insured for a million dollars. And Al Retmer, the insurance commissioner, is refusing to address this. Jane Miller's refusing to address this because Jane Miller knew about this. I showed the role the media played in the misinformation as well. You feel me? States. Attorney Mosby got this. I came to your job and gave this to you. You feel me? You've been sitting on this for since 2014. Schellenberger is the, the weakest link. If y'all investigate this illegal incarceration of my kidnapping, if y'all do your job, Schellenberger is going to be the weakest link. We talk about race and racism. Well, let's talk about racism in the Democratic Party. Marilyn Mosby came to your house and gave you this. You go directly to the Department of Justice. Everything that I've been talking about, everything that I've been ranting about and raving about is fully detailed in a combined packet, a full packet. So you can go get that. You feel me? You can go get that from the Department of Justice. Judge Bennett got it. I don't want no misunderstandings about nothing I say I do because this is about the courts, the corruption in the courts and racism in the courts. February 2018. Go directly to Governor Hogan. He got this. He got this since 2014 when he started running for office. And he ain't did nothing. We're going to talk about being black in Maryland. You want to talk about Donald Trump? No, I'm going to talk about the racism here. Because the racism here been affecting me for the last 20 years. Donald Trump just have been affecting me for four. The racism in the Democratic Party been affecting me for the last 20 years. The racism in Donald Trump just been affecting me for and we're going to talk about Mayor Pugh. We're going to talk about Mayor Pugh because anything I say, I say to your face. Not just Facebook. You feel me? I use social media for social change. You feel me? I use social media for social change. And I don't want a federal audit on Pew. I want a federal audit on the courts. And that's my insurance complaint. Hogan's been holding it up and Al Repmer ain't trying to make it happen. I know 98 Rock. I know Dutch Rupert's Burger. I know Radio 1. I Jamie Lee Foster Brown, Kathleen Hughes. Never bite the hand that feeds you. We talking about ceasefire? We got to talk about ending the war on drugs. We got to talk about ending the war on drugs. We want to make the straight, safe street, the street safer? We got to end the war on drugs. We got to have that in the conversation. You feel me? 
We got to have that in the conversation because if we ain't having that in the conversation, then we ain't having no conversation at all. We just we just pushing propaganda. That's Amnesty International because I was talking about ending the war on drugs. That's Randallstown Citizens to Change because I'm talking about ending the war on drugs. That's WJZ. And I'm showing you the war on drugs and the money that y'all make behind the war on drugs. The prison industry, mass incarceration, and the money that y'all get from Alec to keep this war on drugs going. How much money did Senator Kelly get behind the war on drugs? Well, we're going to find out. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. I work for 85% of the richest people. I work for the Orioles, the Ravens, Pat Arrakis. You feel me? And your TV station ain't going to tell no truth. Jane Miller been knowing about this for the longest. You see that? No access. They've been denying it. They refused it. That's April of 2013. April. They returned it three times. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. Richard Sherry did the first story on me on Square Off. Christian Schaefer got the minority report. Stephen Janis got it. Kai Jackson got it. We're going to show the role that the media plays in misinformation. Because the real news in WBAL I team, I want a FCC investigation on y'all. Dred Scott, that's what this is about. Do blacks have rights in which white people respect? That's the White House in 2009. You feel me? That's the White House in 2009. President Obama wasn't president then. Bush was. That's President Obama. Like I said. This is what it's about. It's about your money in your prison industry. The district court. We're going to talk about race and racism. We're going to talk about my illegal incarceration. Well, these are the people that were responsible for it. Jake Davis. James Hammond. Like I said, get all my information from these individuals because the movie was about y'all. The movie was about the Democratic Party and the money that y'all make behind mass incarceration. Go to Malcolm Ruff, Sergeant Duvall, Pilot Towing. I'm going to show you the money behind the machine and how the machine works. I'm going to show you the money behind the machine and how the machine works because I named all of y'all in this. You feel me? Can't nobody deny none of this. Baltimore Sun. You're going to have to tell me how I lost my store, how I gave this up. You're going to have to have a federal and a state audit on Jake's Grill and Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. We talk about how hot the summer was now. We're going to talk about how hot it is then. Jake Davis, griller at Shorty's Pit Beef and Country Ridge Store. You feel me? I want a federal and a state audit. Because that toilet in Towson was about the store on Falls Road. That toilet in Towson was all about the money behind the machine. You feel me? Proves I was making a movie. This is a jailhouse diary in 2011. This is the jailhouse diary from 2007. 400 something odd pages. I was insured. You feel me? I was insured. And this shows when Jake Davis and them came to Illinois to do what they do. I represented myself. Dred Scott. You feel me? That's that right there. These are the representatives. And like I said, I was making a movie about I Am Dred Scott. That's this jailhouse diary. Then this exposes Governor O'Malley and his machine and the money y'all make behind the war on drugs. Like I said... I started this in 1997. This 2019. It's the good in the hood. And these are the people that I represent. You feel me? These are the people that believe in what I'm doing. You feel me? So I want all this to come to an end. 
I'm going to finish this where we started this. Mic check. Letters design ain't just a movie, it's my life. We want to stop the violence, we got to end the war on drugs. Can't just have a ceasefire and not talk about the war on drugs. I speak, these speak for me. My actions speak for itself. Y'all locked me up because I was making a movie about y'all's prison industry. It's coming. Everything that Rob Fix got goes to the Department of Justice. If it don't go to the Department of Justice, it'll never see the silver screen. This is evidence and artwork for a federal investigation to break the Democratic Party down. We're going to show racism in the Democratic Party, not just Donald Trump. 